Up until I was in fifth grade, I used to write like this, my middle finger directly on the pencil. Then one day our class had a substitute teacher who taught us the proper way to write, with your pointer finger holding the pencil and then have it rest on the knuckle of your middle finger. It took me about a month to get used to, but uh, now I can't imagine doing it any other way. Hmm, like this. Mm, yeah, yeah. Hmm, well, I write like this, like you originally did. Well, this is the proper way to do it, so. Just spend a little time practicing each day, and in a month or two, it'll start to feel normal. Oh, what the? There's a bone in here. These are supposed to be boneless. You know, it's a total head fuck when you bite into a boneless wing, and then suddenly you bite down on a bone. Are you gonna get that? Yeah, in a bit. Just make sure to get it before the girls come over. I mean, Jesus, we don't want them to think we're slobs. When are they getting here, by the way? About an hour. Okay. And you know all three of these girls from work? Yeah. yeah. Okay, sweet, sweet. Did you say they are all single? Yes, so it should be a good time. Day, night, day, night, day, night. It's date night. It's date night. What time are those girls coming over? It's about an hour. What you got there? Oh. Holy shit. Did you buy a gun? Yeah, I did. Well, I traded my car for it, actually. Uh, Your Honda? You yeah. serious? Well, why would you do that? Gold. <laughs> I got a gun now. I can walk. It's fine. It's fine. Um, can I see it? Yeah, dude. You want to be careful, though. You don't fuck around. Yeah. Yeah. John! <laughs> no. Oh, my God, John! John! No, John! John! Oh, man! John! Oh, man! Shit! Fuck! Oh, dude, fuck! He's fucking dead! He's dead! What the fuck? fuck? Oh, man! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Okay. Okay. Okay, we gotta do something. Do we call the cops? Well, they're, they're gonna think we killed him. I mean, technically, you did. Do, do you even have a license for that gun? I don't. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Okay. We're gonna have to handle this ourselves. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay? I don't think so, man. You shot and killed John within 10 seconds of walking through the front door. Okay, you're right. Okay, just okay. Okay. okay, okay. Do you have any way of contacting those girls to tell them not to come? No, I've never met them. I don't even know their okay. name. Okay, okay. Okay. As far as I know, they're still coming. Okay. We have no way to tell them not to, so we gotta get this taken care of before they get here. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, you gotta know somebody, right? I don't know, dude. Do, do you? No, of course not. <sighs> what if we try Craigslist? Can we try Craigslist? I'll do anything for money. I'll do anything for money. Seriously, I mean it. If you're wondering if I'll do what you're needing at this moment, stop wondering, because I'll do it. Seriously, I'll do it. Stop reading this and call me right now, because I'm your guy. If you're paying, that is. All right. Okay, well, there's a number here. Call Let's do it, okay. let's do it. Hey, um, <clears throat> I uh, saw your ad on Craigslist, and um, well, we have a bit of a situation here. It's um, it's kind of hard to go into over the phone. Is it a body? Excuse me. You need me to remove a body? Um, yeah. Yeah, how'd you know that? Uh, people call me for all sorts of things. Now, after a while, I started realizing what they're going to ask based on how they're leading up to describe what happened. 
usually when someone's popping on the place like you've been doing, it's because they need to get rid of a body. I mean, either that or they want drugs, but you said more like someone's wanting to get rid of bodies. Uh, okay, uh, okay, uh, so can you do it? I mean, that depends. You know, that sort of job ain't cheap. I assume you got the funds? Do you have any money? I don't have any money, man. Do you have any money? I mean, yeah, I've got some saved up, but I was going to use it to buy a house. I mean, Hey, wait done. a second. Mom, speak a Uh, yeah, yeah, but it's just my friend Wes, and he already knows what's going on here, so... No, look, look, it's not that, alright? It's just, it's common courtesy to let someone know you got the most speaker phone. That's all. Um, okay, yeah, gotcha. Uh, sorry about that. No, it's alright. So can you do it? Yeah, text me your address. I'll be there momentarily. Should we put him in the closet? Howdy, fellas. Let's take a look at this body. Well, mm -hmm. all right, all right. Is that, um, is that Mark you saw some speakers? Yeah, he was, uh, eating wings when he died. Okay. Hey, let's, let's take a seat, fellas. We're down to business. All right, so we've got a few options here. We can do burial, cremation, or we can make them chemically disappear. Now, there are other options available, but I mean, based on the size of this house, I seriously doubt y'all could afford them. And I mean no disrespect when I say that. Please believe me. I'm just trying to be as straightforward as possible so our time here isn't wasted. So what y'all thinking? Uh, what do you recommend? You know, that depends what you're looking for. I mean, you know, burial's not a bad route to go if you want to have a gravesite and visit. Now, keep in mind that gravesite will not be in the most romantic places. Now, cremation's the cheapest. I'll even give you all the ashes when I'm finished. So it's also not a bad route to go. Making them chemically disappear, that's probably the least attractive option. I mean, you know, the three is the most expensive, but I always include it because afterwards there'll be no evidence the body was ever here. Sometimes that's what people are looking for. Now, look, Phyllis, personally, I do not have a preference. I just want to give you guys as many options as I can to make a selection that best fits your needs. Okay, okay. I'm thinking cremation or burial. Excellent. But we'll need to discuss it, yeah. of course. Oh, no, by all means. And what's the fastest you'd be able to have him out of here? Because, well, we have girls coming over in about 30 minutes, and we need to get him out of here before they get here. Oh, hold up. There, there are girls coming? Yeah. How many? Well, three. Uh, our friend John, the um, one in the closet here. Oh, yeah. He knew them from work, and he invited them over for drinks and a good time. And uh, we don't know these girls, so we have no way to tell them not to come. Okay, so let me just, let me just catch up here. There are three girls coming here to have drinks tonight, and they never seen either of you. They, they only met your friend John. That's right. Okay. All right, fellas, we got to change plan here. I'm going to step in for your friend John. We're going to have that date night. What? Yeah. Yeah, we'll say that John had to go because... Is there family in town? Anything like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, who, who's yeah. the guy? It's stepmom, right? She's stepmom. She's stepmom. Like, okay, that's perfect. We'll say he had to go because his stepmom's dog died. So he called me and was a last minute replacement. And I'm so sorry, fellas. I cannot believe I forgot my manners. I'm Slick Vic. Philip. Philip? Yeah, I'm Wes. Wes? It's nice to meet you guys. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. what are you going to do with the body? 
I mean, let's keep him in the closet for now, you know. He ain't going nowhere. Sure, but when do you get rid of him? Well, hmm. So if none of us get laid tonight, I'll get rid of the body when the girls leave. If we do, I'll just get rid of him in the morning. Look, I can tell you fellas are nervous, all right? I'll tell you what. Entertaining these girls needs to be our number one priority. I mean, even practically speaking, we don't want them to think anything's wrong. And going along with the original plan is the best way of doing that. You know, keep it on the hush-hush. All right, that actually makes, makes sense. All right, well, great. You know, I'm going to loosen up a little bit before them girls get here, <clears throat> especially if we're doing the night in. You guys got any alcohol? Philip, this is Wes, and this is, uh... William. Hi, I'm Mary, and that's Courtney, and that's Jennifer. Hi, nice to meet y'all. Yeah, nice to meet y'all. Where's Jolin? Oh, he had to run. His, uh, stepmom's dog died, oh. so, uh... He actually called in one of our old college buddies to take his spot. That's too bad. John's such a really great guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, I think I'm gonna call him just to make sure he doesn't need anything. Oh, no need to do that. He, he's actually with his stepmom now, so, yeah. you know, maybe not good time for a call, so... No, 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 no! No, 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 no! no. no. Why oh, the fuck did we hide the body in the closet next week? We didn't know the girls were coming over! That's temporary, man! Hey, hey, fellas, look. You know what? That's my bad, all right? I should suggest moving the body when I convince you guys to tell the girls over. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, I thought of it. I just really didn't feel like doing it. So you guys killed John? Well, no. No. But, yeah. Well, I mean, we, we kind of did, man. It was an accident. Wes was showing off his gun and, and shot him. I'm sorry. So what, you were just gonna carry on and act like nothing happened with your dead friend in the closet? We didn't want to waste a good night. Well, no, we, we had no way of contacting you to tell you not to come, so we didn't want it to be suspicious. Hey, let's just say it was both. Okay, so you're Philip and Wes. John told us about you, but who is that? This is, uh, Slick Vic. Wait. I thought you said your name was William. Right. Oh, well, neither of those are actually my name. What? Okay, so what are you doing here, then? Right. Oh. Oh. Slick Vic uh, came over to bury John. Mm. Or cremate him. We haven't decided, actually. Um, but we met this dude on Craigslist. He's pretty cool. Hey, thanks, man. Yeah. Yeah, I really like you guys, too. Yeah. I mean, honestly, it kind of feels like we're friends already. I don't mean to push my boundaries, though, by saying that. Is no, that no, 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 no. We, we just met... <laughs> But I think you're pretty cool. It's like Can we please on. fucking sorry, focus here? I'm sorry. Yeah, man, let's let's get back to figuring out if we're gonna kill these girls or not. Wait, 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 wait. You're you're actually thinking of killing us? Well, no, no. I mean, I don't know. Uh, John's death was accidental. This would be premeditated. Do we really want to go down that road? We need to figure something out, man. They seem too much. You know, we can't just let them go. Okay, okay. Is there any other option besides killing them? Not that I know of. Look, man, I'll tell you what, I know it's a drag, but if we do shoot these girls, I'll give you all a two-for-one discount. Like, including your buddy John, I'll dispose of all four bodies, so I normally charge for two. Okay, let's consider other options first. Okay. Hmm. We could eat them. What? What? Where did that come from? I'm just brainstorming. Jesus. Okay, so eating them, unfortunately, that'd be a full charge kind of deal. I mean, eating a person's nasty business, and while I'm not against it, I wouldn't be able to give you any discounts or anything like that. That's okay. We'd okay. each be eating one girl, right? So we just oh. pay for the one that you eat, and then okay. we'll pay you for John. Okay. Philip, I don't. Should we eat John? We're not eating anyone, you stupid motherfucker! Hey, that was really mean! Seriously. Are we really defending these guys when they just suggested eating us? Hmm. I know, but look how hard he is. I mean, regardless of what he suggested, you should not have yelled at him like that. Seriously, man, I mean, I'm on your side, but 
That was really uncool for you to treat your buddy like that. Okay, look, I'm sorry, man. I, uh, I lost my cool. Eating them is a pretty good idea. Let's just keep it as a backup. <laughs> it's not just that, man. Why do you always gotta control everything? You get the final say? I never get to call the shots. <laughs> I have good ideas. And I can soar under the right circumstances. But you don't see that. That's been hurting me for a long time. You make me feel like I'm not good enough. So I don't know how much more of this I can take. <laughs> it hurts, man. It fucking hurts. I'm so sorry, man. I, um... I've never really gone into this with anyone before, but... When I was a kid, my parents sat my brother and me down and they told us they were getting a divorce. My brother would be moving to London with my dad, and um, I would be staying in the States with my mom. I was so young, and I felt so powerless. Why were they taking my brother? And why didn't I have any say in the matter? And I think all this time, <clears throat> I felt so protective of you. Because it's like you're the brother I, I never had. I'm so scared of something happening to you because I can't lose you. I don't know what I would do without you. I'd be so lost. I'll do better from here on out. I promise. I promise. Oh. That was fucking beautiful. I'm so sorry to be doing this. I really am. What the fuck? How dare you do this while we're on our most tender? Alright, man. Look. Put yourself in their shoes, alright? They weren't expecting any of this to happen. They came over here just want a fun night, and we just pulled guns on them. I mean, well, she did apologize. It makes it totally alright in my book. Thank you. Oh, yeah. And I, I'm sorry that I did just point my gun back at you. I, I really mean it. No, I totally dig it. I think I just fell in love. Look, let's let's keep our cool, okay? What are our options? Well, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I'd like to avoid a shootout if at all possible. Me too. Yeah, that's my vote too. Same, but it does look like that's where this is going. Okay. I have a suggestion. The way I see it, we've got we've got two options here. The first one is yes, we do kill each other, um, and that leaves one person left alive. That person has to get rid of all the bodies, including John's. I don't even know if that's possible. No, I, I could do it. I just really not have to. Okay. So say they can get rid of the bodies, not get caught. They're scarred for life from this trauma. That's true. So option two. Which is far superior. We stick to the original plan. We have our little date night, get drunk, we have a good time. And then maybe Slick Vic gets rid of John in the morning. Okay. Well, I mean, I did take tomorrow off so we could have fun tonight. And I haven't given myself an off day in a month. Yeah, and I mean, the kids are days for the weekend. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love my boys, but I'd like to let Liz I got the freedom. I know. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. And is it just me, or are these guys kind of fun? I mean, they're crazy as they are. Yeah. But definitely fun. <laughs> all right, fuck it. I'm in. Me too. Same here. Well, all right. <laughs> Let's start with some shots. Here, come on, you ladies, take a seat. Yeah. You two lovebirds go over there. All right, all right. Great idea, man. Hey. Thanks, dude. Good, good. All right, so we got some tequila here. Great. Right. So where are you ladies from? <laughs> 